wanting to come out of body, to feel the freedom of the release from the physical self and enter the perspective of the fourth dimensional self. Lying aware with my eyes closed, yet seeing more of my surroundings than one can ever see with the physical eyes. To return home for just a second of Earth's third dimensional linear time. To feel the life's blood of the universe pulsing through everything, giving life, prana, chi, source consciousness to all and everything like an electrical feed through a conduit of light. Rushing noises pulsing through my astral ears, buzzing, tingling, so much noise. And then silence. As the separation is complete and my perspective resides fully in the fourth dimensional self, where to now? I move upwards towards the ceiling, then move through the ceiling and out through the roof of my house. Someone has asked for healing, someone important. Knowing that each and every soul is as important as the other is a natural, non-physical perspective. Yet in the fourth dimension there is still somewhat a hierarchy, a linear perception. Yet this is a shadow of the third dimension, like weighing scales that choose their own weight. Hampered not by the density of the perspective we know on planet Earth. This person is important simply because she reaches many, with teachings, love, light and information. Extraterrestrial perception of contact and communication altered the natural psychic, clairaudient and remote viewing abilities to the fine-tuned, focused 11th dimensional stream. And this teaching, this frequency, is shared with many has been shared with many and shall be shared with many. I remember she asked for healing. She had been in a car accident and she asked for healing. Many had sent healing of white light, Reiki, violet flame, love, prayers and thoughts. Yet this one had to be one on one. I needed to meet her to deliver the personal healing from self to self. I located her energy signature and flew across waters, dark seas and above the clouds. I came down into a descent through the lighter cloud formations to hover above a child's play park. Isolated except for her sitting on the park bench. I floated down, wearing the familiar white nighty that always adorns my astral fourth dimensional self. Like the children who followed Peter Pan to Never Never Land. Remnants of childhood fairy tales blur as memory fields shape the fourth dimensional perspective of flight and travel. A hybrid of Peter Pan and Enie Blyton's The Adventures of the Wishing Chair first book I ever read in this lifetime. I glide down to sit beside her and I can feel the aches and pains within her body since the accident. Yet she is in a rapid state of healing. She asked for healing and many responded to that call. Each and every loving thought, image, color, touch and emotion contributed to the acceleration of her cellular repair. Why? How? The thought is put out, the question is asked, the response is downloaded or uploaded instantly. In the fourth dimension there is no delay in communication from higher self to physical self, from spirit to human astral soul traveler, from guide to self. 
the perception of self in both places dualistic by location is learned with each out-of-body experience one has remembered or not remembered the experience triggers learning which is simply memory activated regrouped on a cellular level so the question is how why have the loving thoughts of the many contributed to the acceleration of cellular repair in the one the cells of the physical body are out of time out of place and are multidimensional they hold intelligence they hold consciousness they are mind they can receive the energetic imprints of others when the overall organism the self is in a state of receptivity asking for healing instantly puts oneself in a state of receptivity with trust and when one holds a high vibration one connects with others who also hold that high vibration trust then does not enter into the thought fields of the one for it is a given a sacred circle is formed and those of like vibration enter that reality becomes an insular one within that safe zone if you will consciousness communicates with consciousness from the group mind the collective to the single individual who receives that which is directed towards and focused upon her her state of receptivity allows cellular repair and regeneration to occur at an accelerated level due to filaments of light created by thought and emotion of loving focused higher vibrational states of consciousness from the collective individuals the letters banners posters films and social networkings upon your internet systems act as third dimensional platforms for this to take place yet they are not needed of course for telepathic union needs no physical platform but the platform assists with third density conscious awareness of the processes involved i feel the energies indeed the presence of all those that are at this very moment sending love light and healing to her yet we are alone so it seems just me and her on the park bench i am drawn to her lower back showing the red orange hue of inflammation as the body corrects itself from the damage caused in the accident i place my hand upon her lower back instantly the cool blues and greens of the healing energy blend with the red and orange to ease the symptoms of inflammation without preventing the body from doing its job then from nowhere i hold the perspective of the psychic surgeon is this me am i channeling this surgeon is this other merging with my perspective both and neither yes and no it really matters not in the fourth dimension everybody can do this here when intention is focused my hand moves through her lower back and i hold my hand inside her body at the base of her spine intention of wanting to heal knowing the importance of the one as she shall teach and lead the many and answering the call for healing on a conscious level allows the healing from my hand to penetrate her being her receptivity allowing that intimate touch white light flows from my hand like ripples of electricity into her body to deliver the healing energy she has asked for and i know i have connected with this wonderful being on a deep and personal level yet i need no recognition of this within third density waking life all connections are translated into third density life 
and they simply fall where they may. The feeling is one of love, giving, sharing, and of sisterhood. I know this person from another time, another life, another existence. I know her, and as she is my sister in light, I give that healing energy unconditionally with love and the visualization of repair, renewal, and regeneration. The light, the codes, the signatures, the color, the Christ consciousness all flow from my hand into her body, and they come not from me, but from beyond, from all the light levels up to source, and I stand but as a conduit. Yet they come through me as I hold the intention the focus and the desire to heal this person or to contribute towards that which she needs to heal herself. I withdraw my hand, yet the light within her remains. We smile, we share the bond of sisterhood, and I know it is time to leave. I find myself moving off into another dreamlike state as I simultaneously feel my sleeping body. The return to the physical does not hold any backtracking of the journey taken, just the perception of the third dimensional self asleep. I open my eyes. I remember with clarity all that has transpired when I was out of body. The sense of freedom is overwhelming, for you can truly go anywhere do anything, visit anyone, when you shift to a fourth dimensional perspective. As long as you phase back into the third dimensional self and anchor yourself when you are back in the physical, then moving back into the fourth dimensional aspect through the perception of an out-of-body experience, you know will happen again. Or rather, you know you will be consciously aware of it happening again. The most important thing here is the healing and the connection that took place. The sisterhood, the love of another human. She who stands as other, embracing the service to others path and seeing other as friend, not foe. Fourth dimensional travel does not always hold that frequency, for it is an energetic replica of the third dimension and one needs to experience the travel to learn to navigate the fourth dimension. The emotion is the key. Feel love and you will experience a mirrored reality to love. And as you move up the ladder of dimensions, if you will, that mirrored reality to love becomes more and more intense. Emotion creates reality in all dimensions. So hold love and the desire to love and share love and this will bring you the mirrored reality to love. We are Magenta Pixie and the White Winged Collective Consciousness of Nine.